Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today we're going to be unboxing the Ipsy Glam Bag for October. I don't know why I keep trying to say September. October 2021. Alright, let's see what we got. first product in here looks like it was out of the bag and it is a brush by Farah concealer brush 10F yeah just a nice little nice little concealer brush I have a lot of these Farah brushes at this point from from these uh, subscription boxes but I'm never mad about another brush I will definitely use it probably not for concealer though I don't really use brushes for concealer. I'll probably, I'll probably use this for eyeshadow. Alright, this is the bag this month. Is that a lipstick? I think that's a green lipstick. That's cute. Is that her knife? I can't tell. I think it's a lipstick. <laughs> Alright. So the theme for this month is Pretty Wicked, and it says the value on this brush was $10. It says not only is this flat brush an essential for... <laughs> okay. It's really late. I'm sorry. Not only is this flat brush an essential for applying and blending your favorite concealers like a Total Pro, it's display worthy too. We can't get enough of this chic rose gold handle and the way it makes our skin look. Plus, it's vegan and cruelty free. It says, be sure to give your brushes a deep clean once a week using mild soap and warm water. And the value on this is ten dollars. Um, I feel like they're targeting me a little bit with the wash of brushes thing. I uh, I just washed all my brushes yesterday, actually. So I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> all right, the next product in here is by Chasen Rabbits. The Journey to Better Glow. Mindful Bubble Cleanse Extra Cream, Activated Charcoal, and Bamboo Water. I am not going to lie, I have never heard of this. You know that tight, dry feeling your skin can get post-wash? This gentle cleanser leaves your face feeling just the opposite. It's made with mineral and nutrient-rich bamboo water to moisturize and help balance your skin while you wash away makeup, buildup, and excess oil. Massage into your skin using gentle circular motions, and then rinse using luke lukewarm water. Um, this is a sample size. Okay, this is um, this is 25 milliliters, and the full size is 200, and the full size is 23 dollars. So that's not too bad if this is like something that you end up liking. 23 bucks isn't terrible. It's sealed, so I'm not gonna open it just because I have like four other cleansers open currently. Um, but I will definitely try this. Alright, the next product in here is by Lottie London. It's called a Wing Woman Liquid Eyeliner. And this is the full size. It says, finally, an eyeliner that actually requires no touch-ups. This ultra-pigmented formula glides on easily and lasts for hours, so your liner looks fresh from your morning coffee to happy hour and beyond. No smearing, smudging, or fading. Um, it says this is $7, which is very affordable. I wasn't going to open it. I, I, I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's a very precise line, and even though I have lotion on my hands, it's actually not. Don't mind the freckle in the middle, that's not the liner, that's <laughs> my hand being done. Yeah, it's actually not breaking up, which is great, considering that there's lotion on my hand, so that is a good sign. I will definitely use that. I'm never mad about getting another black eyeliner. Okay, um, this is by Tony, Tony Moly. Plumpkin Retinol Eye Cream. <laughs> I think I just got something else by this brand last month. Um, this is a deluxe sample. The full size is 30 milliliters and is $25. And this is 10 milliliters. So it's actually not a bad, um, 
a bad size, so see the full size is only like three of these. Um, lightweight yet super potent, this eye cream uses retinol and pumpkin extract to help plump, smooth, and firm your eye area. Hmm. I wonder if it smells like pumpkins. Sealed. Should I open it? I'm going to. No problem. Does not smell like pumpkins. <laughs> I don't really expect it to. I'm not sure why I opened it. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so the last product in here is the one that I chose. It's the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. My nails look so gross. I just dyed my... My hair was yellow, like, yesterday. But the yellow kept getting muddier and muddier because of the black, and even though the black is permanent, it's still, for some reason, bleeding into the other side, which was making it very, very muddy. So I got annoyed, and I just put green over it. And I did it last night, and I didn't fix my nails. I'm painting <laughs> at work, and uh, you can you can still see, the, yeah, I'm, I'm painting it blue. So now I have black and green and blue nails, and it's gross. Anyways, I love the way that the Tatcha stuff smells. Her Tatcha like rice water, rice wash cleanser stuff smells like Fruit Loops to me, and I love it. So yeah, I like all the Tatcha products. Literally never going to be mad about getting one of these. Um, how big is this? 10 milliliters and the full size is 50 milliliters. The full size is also $68. Um, true to its name, this looks bleh. True to its name, this luxurious cream majorly ups your skin's dew factor. It's ideal for dry, dull skin that's in need of a big moisture boost. It uses ceramides to help reinforce your skin's barrier, algae extract to help draw in moisture, and Japanese purple rice to give your skin a major glow. Tip, pop this in the fridge. It'll feel extra refreshing and calm puffiness when you apply. So yeah, um, that is everything that came in the October 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag. I really like this little bag, it's cute. <laughs> Um, so just to do a quick recap, we got the cleanser, we got the pumpkin toli, toni moly, I don't know why I keep trying to say like toli something, anyways, retinol eye cream, and then we got the Tatcha moisturizer, the Farrah brush, and the Lottie London eyeliner, um, so overall not, not bad, I've had worse months, I think all of those products are ones that I will use, which is awesome. Ipsy bags lately haven't really been my favorite subscription just because they've been like really skincare heavy and kind of like things that I wouldn't really go out and buy or stuff that's like really expensive that I'm not going to buy again. Um, they gave me like a teeny tiny, like I think a couple of months ago we got some sort of an eye serum that's like $300 in a store. And it was like one of the teeny, I don't think it was an Ipsy though. It was in a different one. But it was like this big. Like I, so tiny. Like maybe two uses and it's an eye cream <laughs> so like really tiny and so expensive and it's like how am I gonna know after two uses if I like this product enough to spend 300 I'm never gonna like it enough to spend $300 on it but if I was I'm not gonna know that after using it twice so to me that's kind of just a wasted product because I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna go buy that after using it twice anyways that was a really random rant, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, not a bad bag this month. I am not mad at it. Those are mostly all products I will use. This eyeliner dried down really good. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so. Um, I said I will always use another black eyeliner. I can always use a brush. The Tatcha Cream, I already know I like. So, you know. The other two, I haven't tried yet. Still on the fence with those, but three out of five ain't bad. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and for spending a little bit of your day with me, and hopefully I will see you again next time. Alright, thanks!